Let's take a look at the components of 3D objects here in Cinema 4D. So up until now, we've been using the parametric objects like the cube, and we can make a certain number of changes to them. We can change the size and shape. We can turn fillet on. We can add subdivisions. But we can only do so much with it in this state. So when we're ready to continue modeling further, we need to turn our objects into editable objects or polygon objects. And to do that, we click this button right here, or C is the shortcut for it on your keyboard. So if you watch the cube icon over here, when I hit C on the keyboard, it turns into a polygon object. At this point, we have access to the points, edges, and polygon faces of this cube. And we access that information through these tools over here. So if I was to click on the points tool and grab my life selection, I can select the point and I can move that point. If I select my edges tool, I can grab an edge and then I could pull that edge out. And I can control the actual polygon faces as well. I can select those here and I can control those. So now with that information, you have a whole new level of control here. There's a lot more that you can do with this object. You could select an object and then select some of your extrude tools, and we will go into these in an upcoming chapter. You could select the extrude inner, extrude this down, and then extrude it backwards to create something like that. Just undo that. If we needed to have a bevel on this edge, we could select our edge tool and then click on bevel. And then we could do something like that. So converting your objects to an editable state takes it down to the points, edges, and polys. And that's where the real control in modeling comes in.